You mean like clear glasses? I, mean, I think I remember Dark shades. I'm going to beige with you, Y'all. I don't want feel like I'm copying nobody. It's, it's giving a little bit. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm talking about my body. Bitch. Give him a little booty. Give him, give him a fur inch of the hips. I won't pretend I ain't dead wrong, but it ain't room for two. So if you think that you gotta leave, okay. My glasses might look a little smear. I didn't think. I haven't taken one either. Uh, it's been about six hours now. We have not even. Um, No, wait. Go on here. What's <laughs> beautiful, Candy? Wow, they put a lot of bedrooms down here. All right, this is your room. Oh, Lovely sweetmates. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a lovely time. Thank you. Aw. All right. Scene two. This is Sanya being the bone carrier. Um, so. Sang's being the bone carrier. Who did she take this bone back to? She went right after talking to Kenya Moore. She goes right in here. I mean, literally, waste no time. You like it, Kenya? I love it! Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Hi, girls. Will you kindly give me some glam? Sure. Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning, pretty lady. How'd you sleep? I slept great. I love it. Yes, thank you. You want me to sing Kenya? Yet? Is she here? At like a kid. In a, like, 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 as if this is Bad Girls Club. That's as what, if this yeah. Is like, um, some, some, like America's Next Top Model. Eva then was like 21. Thank you. And 20 that, years that, old when that, they were on the show. That is going to support my question. Where does your loyalty lie? It's like you're in an America's Next Top Model situation, where it's every bitch for herself. I'm not saying because of that at all. I'm just saying, just whatever yeah. you're mad about, don't be mad. Well, like, yeah, I've weird. got a, you know, a right to be upset when all. Well, you don't have a right to bump into me and not say excuse me. And if you want me to start, then say excuse me. That's but the if reason I don't for feel the like word. Being excused. All right, it's on. Okay. You ain't right. got one friend that you gonna not be shady to. I just don't. Right, I don't understand that. I didn't understand why she went directly back to Marlo to tell Marlo exactly what her and Kenya had just talked about. And then not only that, you were sneaky enough to sit there and let this conversation between Sheree and Marlo bubble up until you were able to say, well, let me say this that I just got done talking. But she dropped a lot on me. What did she drop on you? I feel like we should go talk to Marlo. Like right now? Yes. Okay, <laughs> bye-bye, Bacon. Marlo! Oh yeah, you look yeah, good. You're my beautiful sister. I, I need to talk to y'all. What's wrong? I ain't talked to y'all before we go. This sound like a heart to heart. Come, let's go in here. Come on. All right, come on. I got to get dressed, too. Instead of just, when I come in here, I'm going to break the ice and go ahead and say what the fuck is going on. Like, you a sneaky ass, lying ass bitch, okay? Why exactly are we a liar? And I'll change my mind if you tell me or show me something different. Other than that, what I'm looking at is some lying ass shit. I don't want no problem with your husband. If your husband was standing over me making me apologize to you, I apologize like a bitch. I'm not don't f with my wife. And might suck his dick. I but, apologize. Huh? I apologize. <laughs> Say, say I just said I'm sorry. I heard you. That don't mean nothing. You apologize. A lot of people know how to apologize. 
you trying to apologize? She ain't apologizing. She apologizing. She apologizing. But for right now, my thoughts and my feelings is that Sanya is a flip flopping ass, lying ass bitch. Did you hear that old flip flop, flip it flap flapper? Girl, that thing said I don't know this whole no more. And I'm sorry. If you're mad at it, you're mad at it. Look at me like I'm all of them, because in a minute, that's what they're going to be calling your ass. Watch. And, and, and Drew is just absolutely right about you. You have, you're not a good friend. In my opinion, it's a bad friend. She had some strong opinions about like what's going on with the boys and stuff. Now see, this would be bad. No, 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 no. What opinions she had about my nephews? No, it's just about the whole situation now with them not being with you. She shared her own experience about like Who being... told her that? I didn't tell I her. I had a conversation I with Kenya. Her. Then the producer asked, um, <laughs> that's how you know our thoughts be right on par. I mean, everybody, not just us, but other people who think in the same thing. Then the producer asked Sanya, do you think that that was some bone carrying shit or was that peacemaking type of shit? And it's like, when I say stuff to her, she's like, well, I'm here for y'all. And I'm like, no, you should be here for Marlo. Yeah, you know what absolutely. I mean? Can you explain the difference between bone collecting and peacemaking? Bone collecting means you just going back with the T and you don't have any intention on seeing things get better. Like, what was you doing there? And she's like, listen, here's my definition of peacemaking. Here's my definition of bone carrying. I'm going back because I really do want to see their relationship get better. So I think it feels like peacemaker, but... You know... Then they um, cut to Sheree saying, listen, it looked like I have passed the motherfucking torch. Looked like uh, Sanya is taking on the motherfucking torch and she's now the new bone carrier. And she says that you're battling demons. Girl, you like a little mini bone collector. I am passing the torch over to Sanya. So, Sheree already said that during the candle, uh, the picking of the candles, that she is no longer the bone carrier. I just but, but I don't have any gossip, though. You used to be the uh, bone carrier. I'm not the bone carrier anymore. So, so, right, and I just don't, I don't understand that, I guess, uh, Kenya is passing the torch on to Drew mm -hmm. to be the drama queen. Cheers! Cheers to a happy life. Happy life, <laughs> new friendship. Yes. And Nene has um, passed it on to Marlo. <laughs> Nene, uh, to be the Indirectly. good fabulous. Uh, <laughs> shit starter. I'm 5'10", Marlo's 5'10". When I walk into the room, I own it. When she walks into the room, she almost own it. So, you know, we, <laughs> we're great pair. <laughs> now do you... And, um, You want to be fabulous, but you're not. But you're not. <laughs> All right. Hey, bitch. You look fabulous. You don't, okay? I always so, do love. You want to look fabulous and really don't. Okay. Right. Okay. Marlo almost owns it. You better tell him, Nene. Okay. And um, Sheree done passed the bone collector. She done passed her um her bag of bones to Sheree. I mean to Sanya. I have been playing nice. Them them to stop calling me Sanya, Sanya, Sanya. They're about to see Sanya show up. Okay. They're about to see Sanya show up. Girl. I guess Kenya gonna, I mean, uh, Candy gonna pass it on to Monietta. I guess that's what she's trying to do. Monietta is my girl. She writes books and she has two children with Neo. And that's how I initially met her. She's always just positive vibes whenever Monietta's around. Did you go to the wedding? Yes. Listen, I came in like, oh. Uh, Sonya had no reason bringing this shit back to Marlo and Sheree. She, she, she could have kept this all to herself. And then not only that, we don't do shit like this. You sending the bones back too fast. It just you happened, just, bitch. You, you ain't even got like a, a reason bunny, to... Just like you 20-something years old, you acting like this a goddamn, like I said, bad, bro, bad girls club or some shit. That's what I'm saying. Sheree Love hip-hop. What the fuck? Right. Like you in a house full of bitches and y'all some young, dumb-minded ass hoes. Sheree, when she Let carries the bone, she, she carries it later. Maybe when we get to Atlanta or right before we leave or at the end of this episode at right. the dinner scene, we're going to break this out. Or at the mine, the mining shit. So today we are excited. We're gonna go to some uh, gym minding. Minding? Minding. <laughs> you done hop, skipped, and jumped your ass right out of Kenya lap straight to Marlo <laughs> and Sheree to run your goddamn mouth for no reason. No reason at all. I like I have to. Why? All right. I tell whoever the I want to tell what I want to tell them. Ooh. I am the bone collector and I carry whatever bones I want to carry. And Sheree gonna say she the mini bone collector. No, bitch, you're the mini bone collector because you're five feet tall. Well, her big six feet ass, she the big bitch Same bone collector. Feet? She, uh, well, I think she 5'11". That's oh, one God. inch off. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, the dog girl. Six one bear. Six one bear. Who are you? You're tall and beautiful. Well, sorry. We're all bad. I was just like, damn. Because Marlo is really trying to kick Kenya off the island. Today, I saw a side to Kenya that I do not like. I'm going to need her to just put a little twirl cape on and tornado right on off the island, if that's how she's going to act. She's like, listen, don't talk about motherfucking Michael, bitch. And don't talk <laughs> about my goddamn children, period. Okay? The bitch can go. And if she don't talk to me before we get on this bus, she better get her goddamn uh, car and get to going. I said to her, was Marlon invited you to her room? Go holler at her. She's like, I'm not in a rush. You're not getting on the bus without me having to talk. We're going to have a one-on-one, -on -one, you yeah, and I. Yeah, y'all need to. Okay? Need to. And if it can't work, you can please get in your car and please leave. And that's it, bitch. That's it. But just respect me that much. I'm like, damn, Marlo is not playing games right now. She is trying to pull a motherfucking, um, um, when Kenya did, um, Portia like that, get off the boat. Remember when she kicked Portia off the boat? Yeah. And not Cynthia. Right. Fuck. They both Oh my God, I told you she's dangerous. She's crazy. <laughs> Lying in. Sound like a white woman in distress, girl. Right. Come on, Cynthia, Cynthia, come on. Cynthia, come on. Come over here. Are you kidding me? I told you, she cannot handle herself. Are you kidding, Candy? Get the off the boat. She's crazy. Candy, come on. Let me see what she can. But Kenya is bringing bad energy on the trip, though, and I don't like that. She shouldn't have come if she was just going to be catty and shady. You do have to make good TV, but you're doing it at the expense of everybody's good time. So that's just not cute. Get first, yes. Oh, something nice. I think you like yeah. it. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, what is it gonna say? I didn't bring my stage with me. <laughs> what kind of demons are in those gifts? Oh my god. Cause she's walking around with a lot of demons. Why do you want to be around somebody about battling demons? Yeah. Obviously, you know that I really like you and Kenya, right? And I really want you guys to make it work. But first of all, this this trip is about you. Oh, right? Like, we're that. here to pour into you. You have a lot going on. Like Who being... told her that? I didn't tell no, her. I had a conversation I with Kenya. Her. Okay, so we're going to go yeah. back. I had a conversation with Kenya. I told you I met with Kenya. So I met with Marlo earlier, mm -hmm. and she's going through a lot. She's, we all are. She's reached her breaking point, like, yeah. where she's okay. literally told the kids to get out. And um, if she don't stop pretty fast, these two call each other evil and the devil so much. Marlo about to turn into the next devil. They both turn into the devil and snakes and evil. I only knew it was her because one of her snakes was left on the floor. Marlo about to be the next one, and Kenya about to meet her match if she don't stop talking about goddamn Michael. And um, and um, she got a lot of lip. Uh, Do you guys feel that you need therapy right now? No. William, you don't think that you you're going through a lot in your mind, like as in, are you missing your mom? <laughs> What's his name? Um, William. Will Sir Williams. Um, let me not talk about Stop them. Stop it. I ain't trying to get gouged like a fish when I see uh, Marlo, honey. <laughs> um, oh, my God. It was good. It was really weird for me to see Marlo with this group of women and then think about Marlo's past. People just can't put together socialite, criminal. <laughs> I don't think they can put those two things together. So. <laughs> it was really cute that Marlo was asking Sanya to pray. I was like, really? Sanya's the wrong bitch. All the voodoo they do in Jamaica? Sanya and I pray. Pray with me. I want her to lead them out. I don't want her to mention them anymore. Okay. You don't call Lord, please Lord, let Kenya please. leave Micah and William out of her mouth. Cause I love little Brooklyn. Please, whatever this girl is going through, Lord, just help her to- Voodoo, voodoo. It's not, it's not voodoo. What is it called? Let me see, I'm gonna tell you. Mm, sorry. I don't want to be talking about that, but uh, I wouldn't trust it. It is very witchcrafty at this point. This has turned into a whole ceremony of black magic. <laughs> I don't want any parts of it. That's why I'm staying far, far away. Well, she knows how to be a grown, mature, 60-year-old woman today, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh and get gosh. your lonely ass back on the road. Oh, Lord. That's what Let's you're going to roll. You done roll all the way three, four hours to come be with me and tell me I'm battling demons. It's trouble waffles and... Let me not say that because you know what? Somebody gonna be like, look at the statistics. It's more Christians in Jamaica than it is voodooism. It's Obia. Ooh, don't say that word up in here. Obaye. Oh my God. You are a curse. The black widow. No, we don't wanna say that word up in here. That's what her daddy probably do. Mm -mm. That long beard and shit. Oh, really? Stop it. His dick hair is probably dreaded up. <laughs> they dreaded up right here, look. Oh, if he don't stop, what the hell wrong with you? She be stuck in a dread at night. <laughs> like, 
sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> We're not going to do them like that. You don't want none it's of this. Late. Yeah, she talking shit about, about me. don't want none. If I ever met any of these bitches after talking shit about them, oh my God, listen, we're gonna throw this clip in there real quick. The way Contessa just did heavenly bitch. Toyota ain't got shit, nothing to do but get ready. Quad ain't got nothing to do but get ready. I've seen them without their makeup. Mm. I'm, I'm just confused. I, I don't know what this is. And I may say whatever about Toya, but for a bitch that's lazy, she did what she needed to do to get a man. <laughs> oh, I didn't see her. Oh, yes. bitch. bitch, pulled up all them goddamn YouTube clips on her motherfucking ass. Sit your ass down and watch this real quick. Oh my Look God. I would hate for the housewives to do that to me if I met Sanya and she pull up my YouTube video like, yeah, every day when you're walking down the street. <laughs> oh Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. <laughs> and I say, Oh my God! I'm oh gonna hit the floor. God. I'm gonna take off right in. Jay gonna be like, Where the hell you go? I'm gone. Do your mom know you act so much? You better go with the bullshit. Man, you better stop running from that girl. Fuck you! <laughs> I'd be like, damn, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. You don't look like Arthur. And I'm come right back here and put it up there. Damn, that's fucked up. But for real, you talk all that shit behind the camera and behind the laptop and shit. Your ass ain't gonna say that shit in person. Nope, that's why I created the Urban Bench. Let's move on to scene. Let's move on to scene three. I'm just talking shit. You the one blocked from Facebook right now for talking all that shit. Them if you don't leave me alone, I'm blocked from Facebook for no good goddamn reason. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a little like water and oil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker. What's in the kettle and ready to boil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker. Who was this wonderful person that was given a fashion show with no fashions? How dreadful. <laughs> 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 <laughs>